What's up, guys? Back over here to the laundry mat again. Doing laundry. These windows are still dirty, man. I don't know. Hey, you might not be able to see it. They are. There are smudges. There's that guy. I mean, they just. Still, Marcus's word, they are trifling. <laughs> they are terrible. And then let me tell you another thing. But then, you hear that noise in the background. That's my clothes, and that's big gangster washer just uh, spinning real crazy. But what, what, what drove me crazy, man? This is the second washer I've been used today. I went to the first one, which was $4.50, and it was a big one because I had a pretty good bit of clothes to wash today. Plus, I had all my, uh, some, you know, uh, brushes and this stuff I kind of needed to wash. Well, I put it in there, and I'm sitting over here, and I got, went and got some Taco Bell for breakfast, and I'm sitting here eating Taco Bell. I hear my clothes get done, and I was on the phone with him, and I was like, I said, surely it's not done, because it says 27 minutes. Well, I went over and looked, it says zero minutes. I said, maybe it is. So I opened it up, and there was hot water running down on the clothes. The clothes were soaking wet. The clothes were not done. I said, you got to be kidding me. So I wound up having to take them out, put them in the little roll around basket thing here, and then put them over here in this washer that costs $7.75, because I figured, well, it's going to work. So now the clothes have been washed twice, and I'm going to put them in the dryer back here behind me. I'm just like, man, you know, you don't have no out of order sign. I mean, I left them a long note, too. Nothing hateful, you know. So I just left them a note saying, look, I put my clothes in washer number four. Here's what happened. I had to spend an additional seven seven five just to wash, you know. So I don't know. Maybe, but hey, but this might be a good thing because that will get me in contact with the. Uh, excuse me, I thought I had something on my nose. <laughs> That'll get me in contact with the owners at least, assuming they call me back. But if they call me back, that will get me in contact with them. You know, we come and they make it right. And I say, hey, hey, look, you know, by the way, I clean windows. And, you know, it's, I'm not going to tell them this, but it's plain to see, y'all, they need the windows clean. So that negative setback, which, you know, I feel bad. I did, I will admit, I got a little upset about it because it just made me mad, you know. But I'm trying to start thinking positive now. You know, maybe, maybe by that happening, that was God's way of finally getting these people to get in touch with them. So maybe I'll get in touch with them and finally at least talk to them about the windows. Yeah. So there's a cop sitting here running, running radar. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They like to sit right there and catch speeders going down this road. But, <clears throat> but like I said, maybe that's God's way of, you know, letting me finally get in touch with these people about these windows. Look for positives and negatives. That's what I'm trying to do. All right, these clothes got a few seconds left, so I'm going to get ready to put these in the dryer. You guys have a good day, good Friday morning. I had to make sure it was Friday morning. Y'all have a good Friday morning. Jacob Williams, appreciate what you did yesterday, man. Marcus, uh, Luke the Window Cleaner, Superb, Sarah C, um, Silver Bits. Any other subscribers, you know, that I forget to mention. You guys have a good day.